Huska, Oklahoma. And this is their local history museum. Television in the county or in the city. have squeaky floors here. <laughs> Wanted a thousand skinny people. I think this is the first, this is the location of the first Boy Scout troop. Like, like anybody cares, right? Some light bulbs, some lanterns, cameras. Oh, that shoe. Giant shoe displayed at St. Louis World's Fair 1904. That is a giant shoe. Tin box foot warmer. That's kind of, I've never seen one of those. That's kind of neat. You know, every time I come to one of these little historical societies, there's a little Japanese grenade. Um, it always amazes me that there's always World War I and World War II, like souvenirs. It just goes to show you, people brought back a lot of stuff. Wow, that's quite the, uh, quite the coffee pot there. That's pretty sweet. Those are pretty big. A lot of rifles. Can you imagine living out of a wagon like this? Yeah, that'd be terrible. So yeah, this is Paul Huska. This is kind of like a an oil boom town back in the day. There's still a bunch of uh, small companies out here that do like uh, oil field services, well drillers and such.
beautiful day out today. And then they have this device over here. Check this thing out. I guess it's like a winch or a drill rig or something. I guess it's the giant winch. So, appears to be the front end of a tractor on this giant metal sled. And then this giant set of gears operating this winch. That's pretty neat. It always amazes me these old engines like when you look at the size of the block I mean it's a four cylinder but just a massive casting all right let's see here so yeah Osage County Historical Society I think last year they filmed, maybe it was this year, I think it was beginning of this year, they filmed a movie, and I forget the name of it now, but it was a Martin Scorsese movie. They filmed it in the old downtown here. I caught wind of it kind of last minute, so I didn't get to see the actual filming. Um, I came up here kind of as they were, um, as they were taking everything down. But it was kind of neat because all the old, the downtown storefronts were all like repainted and re, kind of redone to make them look really old. Fortunately, I missed out on the action though. I didn't get to see any filming. Would have been interesting. But man, it was so crowded, you could tell that, because this is a small town, right? You could tell that there was at least several hundred people staying here for the filming. You know, the camera people, the lighting people, the catering trucks, the, they had like all kinds of rented equipment everywhere. And you could tell that the town was just inundated um, with people and, uh, I can only imagine a small town like this, you know, if something big comes to town, you know, they're overwhelmed. They, you know, they can't host 500 people coming into town to do a movie. So I could tell, even though they were in the cleanup phase, that it was, it must have been total chaos here for a while, given that they had so many people working on that movie up here. Anyway, that's the museum.